Hey guys, welcome to Carnivorous Plan Sydney. Today we're going to be doing a big repotting of a huge Nepenthe St. Pacificus. So, let's get started. You may have seen this certain plant before in one of my older videos. I did repot a basil shoot from this plant. But yeah, ever since then it has been growing very well. It's flowered. Unfortunately, I do not have another flowering plant, so I missed out on that. But it is making some pretty big traps. So this is going to be good. The reason I am taking this plant out of the pot is because it has started to develop basil shoots at the base of the plant. Here's one. I've left them in for quite, maybe some would say too long, so there are quite a lot of them and heaps of pictures. So I have to be extra careful I don't damage any of these. I'm going to start off by untying this plant from this giant stick I used to have to hold it up. It has outgrown it though, so. Oh, I might have to get a bigger one once it's repotted, so let's get rid of that. Got to be careful here as it is holding up the plant as a long vine and stuff. There we go. It sticks out. And one annoying thing about repotting the panthers is that they do vine, which means they can grab onto itself. And it's quite hard to pull out, but as you can see once it's extended, it's a very, very tall plant. I'm going to leave that over here because we're not worrying about this main plant. We are worrying about these. So these are the basil shoots. This is what I'm going to be taking out. So basil shoots grow from the main stem of the plant and are basically just babies of the plant. They're small clones. So I'm going to try. Oh no. I'm going to be, as I said, extra careful so I don't damage any of these huge pictures. I think I waited a bit too long with this plant. It's much easier when the pictures aren't that big. But once they start picturing at a decent size, then you know it's time to get rid of them. Down here, some people find this part hard. I think it is very hard. you just got to pull. And there we go. We've got it. We have this basil. Now I just need to see if this one picture stuck. And there we go, that's our first basil. Successfully potted. It's a very healthy plant. And it's a good thing that it does have these pictures because without them, they won't have the energy to grow roots from the hand. Alright, we're going to set this bad boy aside for a while and let's get the rest of these basils out. This basil is huge. Look at the size of the pictures this plant's creating. We are going to have a lot of really nice plants coming out of this burko. I mean, same Pacificus. Let's get rid of all these weeds growing in the pot. We're on to our last basil. This one may have already Oh, hang on, there's a small one here. Right near the bottom, I've got to be extra careful. There it goes. Oh, look at that tiny basil. Left to the side. Alright. This is it. The big basil. Got to be very careful here. This is really stuck to this point. There we go. It's beautiful. Oh, look, a Christmas basil. Ah, Merry Christmas. We 
We're gonna move this plant to the side for a while and let's focus on these amazing basils. Guys, there is a fly already, two flies already being baited by that pitcher. Three now. This plant is going to catch a lot of bugs. Is this your pitch plant pot? Then you've done completely wrong. You've always got to make sure that you don't want any soil in here as it's not good for the pitch plants. So let's get this cleaned. Just a light soak will do, but if you want an excuse to put some heavy metal music in your video, then do this. soil but not anything healthy well for a normal plant that is what you want to be using is long fiber sphagnum moss now I've had this stuff sitting in some water all day so it is the perfect consistency to put straight into the pot so now we're gonna fill this bad boy up with some sphagnum moss now we have a pot with sphagnum moss in it so Get your pitcher plant. We want these pictures to hang around the outside of the pot, would be the best. And then if we can, we'll plonk them in. But unfortunately, I don't think we have enough sphagnum moss, so we're gonna have to downsize the pot. Okay, thanks to some editing, you don't have to wait any amount of time and I've got a smaller pot now. So let's just maybe see because I'm moving so fast, we call it rock and roll and my weapon seems useless because you're all to me. You won't be possible to be your own way stay control it. Now all this span of moss is just swapping pots. What beautiful soil span of moss is. around the outside. Damn, this big pitch is digesting a slug or something. It smells really bad. We get that in there and sort of make a little hole for it in the moss. Now, now that it's in, we want to pack it down. We need to make this plant want to give us some roots. Because if it doesn't, it will be screwed. Bit more moss now on both sides. And we should be pretty good. And that's one plant done. And there you have it. One perfectly repotted Mackenzie stage. One side note, you want to make sure that there's drainage underneath the plant because that's what the is like best. See you next time. This is Josh, buzzing off.